that was Nap. Hey Radiant, Pastor Sean here, and I am so excited to tell you about our upcoming fall series called Red Hot. We want you to join us for an unfiltered time with Pastor Lee where you can get immediate responses to your burning questions. Now, to give you an example of what this is gonna look like, I'm gonna be asking Pastor Tim, our Richland location pastor, some questions for the first time, but while eating spicy chicken wings. So the hotter the questions, the hotter the wings. Let's get started. All right. Thanks for joining us, Pastor <laughs> Tim. We are You're excited welcome. for you to be here with us. First of all, I need to ask, how are you around spicy food? Actually, I think I'm all right. Yeah. I think I'm all right. I think I'm good. I noticed that uh, you chose chocolate milk. Oh, for sure. Today. For yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah. But I'm going to, you know. So uh, we're going to uh, start by eating our first wing. I'm okay. going to ask you a question. All right. Let's do it. <sighs> Better do a big bite, Sean. Oh, I'll follow you. That's delicious. Very good. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oh. We did test all these to make sure mm. you're not allergic to anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, go on. Mm, I'm going for it. Good I'm delicious. So many people don't know. You used to have dreads that reached all the way down to your lower back. Yes. So I'm just curious, <laughs> what was the inspiration behind growing those out, and would you still grow them out today if you could? He, if I could. Yeah. Kind of balding. <laughs> so no. Um, if I could grow them out, maybe. Inspiration. Do I just want it long hair? Like growing up, my mom was like, it had to be short. And so like, no, when I get older, I'm just gonna grow it out. And it just kept growing and growing and growing. I could do fun things with it. So I loved it, but I can't grow it again. Okay. Yeah. How are you doing so far? No, it was easy. Yeah, easy, right? It was easy, right? yeah, it was yeah, easy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, ready mm -hmm. for the next one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So this one's Step up a little hotter. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, this easy. Olivia, what are you talking about? This is easy. This is easy. Nothing. So as someone who prides themselves in not drinking coffee. Yes. And even has a drink named after them at Match Head Coffee, <laughs> what are the top three chocolate milks and why? That's a good question. Top three. The one I make at home. Milk, Hershey syrup. That's number one. Yeah. Two, Nesquik. Can't go wrong with the brown bunny. Three, anyone that's in the glass, I feel like bougie when yeah. I drink those and you turn it in and get like a nickel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, that's easy. Doing good? Yeah, come on. All right. Well, this is easy. Next one? This is nothing. Seriously. Nothing? I was scared. Yeah. This is easy. Easy. All right, we got this. Ready? Right? Here we go. Yeah. This one will hit. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh! So compared to the early foundational classics, what is something that you have seen modern bi Bible commentary stray away from and why? Whoa. Sean, that's real. You doing okay? <laughs> that's real. We have some milk and water if you need it. Whoa. Uh. Woo! Bible commentaries. Yeah, something that modern Bible <laughs> commentaries have started to stray away from since the foundational classics. Whoa. Uh, being accessible to the layman. Yeah, just anybody can pick up and read it. Yeah. But like, you have to. Yeah, I'm not going to bite that again. Wow. Oh. Mm. Yeah, when you say accessible no. to the layman, what do you mean? <clears throat> like, just the average Joe, just being able to pick up a commentary. Before, <sighs> before, <laughs> it was for the church goers, right? not just seminarians. But now, <sighs> but now I feel like you almost have to need a degree for some of the uh, great commentaries that's out yeah. right now. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so last wing, how are you doing? <clears throat> that one. You good? That All right. one. So this one, it's a tradition. Last wing, you put <clears throat> a little dab on the last wing. Okay. Can you do that with me? Yeah, let's do it. 
So I'll just put it on there. Wait, wait, wait. wait. That's a, it's a good sized dab. Mm. It's healthy. Dude, that's more than a dab. Yeah, it was, a, it was a little. Hold on. All right, hold on. Here we go. Is that good? Yeah, that's um, that's a healthy dab. Okay. That's good. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Tim, with your brain on fire right now, can you name all 66 of the books in the no. Bible? No! <laughs> can you try for us, please? No, I can't. And it's really bad, I'm a pastor. <laughs> I do the Ten Commandments. How far can you get? How far can I get? The Pentateuch. <laughs> Genesis. Exodus. 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 <laughs> Leviticus. <sighs> Numbers and Deuteronomy. Come on, man. That's what I got for you. Come on, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My hands were sweaty. Pastor Tim, thank you for joining us. Thank you. We'll see you in a couple of weeks for Red Hot. Awesome. Great. Oh my gosh. <laughs>